The timing of the exercise is gonna play a huge role in how we process the glucose. But let's break down the two scenarios. First, exercising before meals, also known as fasted workouts. And then the second one is gonna be postprandial movement, which is after meal exercise. So the first one, exercising before the meal. Pros, helps prevent fasting glucose spikes, right? So you need that, you need a little bit of that, right? So your baseline comes down. This encourages fat burning by depleting glycogen stores, right? So we have the glycogen, liver, we want to deplete that because then we can start burning fat. Go for a walk first thing in the morning, you're gonna burn off those leftover glycogen stores and then your body can start working on fat burning. And this can be effective not only for your sugar, but also for weight loss and metabolic flexibility. Now here's the downside. For those on insulin or glucose lowering medications, faster workouts can increase your risk of hypoglycemia. And if you're diabetic, hypoglycemia, also known as low blood sugar, can be quite dangerous. They've done different studies that show exercising in a fasted state does improve fat oxidation, fat burning, but it had limited effects and overall glucose stabilization. So fasted exercises could be good for weight loss, but it's not necessarily the best option, in my opinion, for managing blood sugar. If you're someone who has insulin resistance, I would say if you had to pick one time, I would do it after the meal right? Because this is going to directly target post-glucose spikes. 